Hey guys, Ru here with not a, a vid for Blender. In this one, we're going to be talking about impossible bevels. So, how to run impossible bevels in 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 Blender? Now you know that Blender is uh, basically a poly-based software. So, uh, Control V cavity. So you know certain bevels are not going to be possible, right? So let's say that um, um, you're going to have um, a geo that it's sliced, okay? And it's sliced in a way that will prevent you from uh, running, you know, any any bevel that you want. Now, let's say that uh, I wanted to, okay, I wanted to run a bevel um, across, you know, across this situation here. If I don't apply these booleans, you know, this is not a, you know, not that difficult to do because you simply run a, a bevel and you're done. But what if you know you applied right? So what if you you applied the uh, the the booleans, and you know let's say you got a bevel going on here, weighted normals, and you decided to well, I really wanted this to be curved, right? You, you can't do it. It's just no way because how are you gonna do it? If you're gonna bevel these, right? They might be all right, but the bevel will stop on on the geo. See, you can't do it, right? So how do you do it? Well. Just very quickly before we start, guys, we have Patreon as Blender Bros together with Josh. Three tiers, awesome perks, lots of tutorials, decals, critiques, all that jazz. Check the link in the video description and hope to see you there. Thanks. If you go to edit mode and select these two edges, right? And Q and Ctrl click on curve extract. And then you're going to connect these with Shift 1 and these as well. And then SX and scale them, all of them SX. Uh, so they're longer than this edge and then we're gonna select this edge and easy go down and EY go here right and then we're going to apply scale and then we're gonna go to edit and remove boolean and the bevel okay and then in local mode what we're gonna do is select this and uh, control click on mark to introduce a bevel and scroll to get some segments and then in solid mode we're gonna go to modifiers and solidify outside and press on the sharp and to smooth it now we're gonna select this shape this shape and go to difference and fuckle happens but the reason why fuckle happens is that um, these um, faces of this cutter and the faces of this box occupy the same space on z axis and on y axis so we got the z fighting now if i scale this just a tiny bit everything starts working now the issue is and if i do that right if i scale it up you see uh this angle here right it, it stops being smooth the transition from the flat to the angle disappears so there must be another way of doing it and there is now what you need to do is go to the objects you're cutting through and switch the uh, boolean type from fast to exact and Bob's uncle and now what you can do right is you can actually adjust um, the bevel on this cutter how cool is that All right so you can get whatever the hell you want or you know whatever impossible bevel that you wish on this original shape and that is impossible to do with vanilla blender because um, you you can't uh, apply a bevel to an edge. Um, at least I don't think you can. So there you go, um, impossible bevel, still adjustable, with hard ups. So if you need hard ups, there's a link in the description. Get it with box cutter because that's the only way to get hard ups together with box cutter as a bundle. Thanks for watching, guys, and catch you in the next video.